Welcome back. So since we're still in the profile images, let's just do one more thing. What I kind of want to do this lesson is I just want to show a snack bar whenever we're saving something. So when I do this and save, I want this to pop up instead of just writing saved, which is kind of stupid. So we're going to jump into the code right here inside the profile, inside the profile component TS file. And this is where we call the saved console log. And if there was an error, this is where we would call that. So we're going to make a snack bar here instead. I'm just going to be lazy and copy this snack bar. I'm just going to put him down here. Let's just put him inside the curly brackets. There we go. So now we're going to say user saved like this. That's all we want to say. Now that looks fine. Let's just give it only two seconds just to kind of pop up and hide again. Now we are going to put in down with the arrow. Well, let's just add one down there as well. Where we're going to say user not saved. Uh, something went wrong, right? That's what they write normally. Went wrong. Try again later. There we go. And let's just give this three seconds, actually four, because this is a longer message. And there we go. Now we have this available. Let's just try and see if this works up here. If we can actually now see that snack bar, jump back to the code right here. And let's just try and change this and see if there's a snack bar popping up. Boom, user saved. There we go. So now that that looks fine, I also want to kind of show the position now to be vertical position. And I want this to come down from the top, right? So I'm going to say top right here. There we go. So that's where I want this to pop up. Instead of from the bottom on up, it's going to come down from the top. Let's just try and save this and try once more and see if this works now. So just making another change right here and let's see what happens. All right. Uh, whoop, there we go. It comes down from the top. One more thing I want to do, which is kind of hard. I want to change the color so it's green if it's okay and red if it fails. Let's try and do that. Now that's a bit more complex. The first thing you need to do is Google a lot or look at my videos. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to the system that we have something called a panel class right here. And that panel class is going to add a custom class to our system right here. And that custom class can then be used for us to actually style our beautiful, beautiful snack bar. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make um, snack color like here, color like this. That's just going to be a name of a class we want to add to the actual snack bar. And then we're going to have snack color success that's when it's okay and snack color failure that's if things went horribly wrong right let's just see if this works now so now we have some classes in our snack bar and yes you're right of course it won't work let's just save this no because we still don't we didn't add the styling to this yet so we need to go back now and add the styling for this so jumping into our css right here let's get rid of this this is an old image that we don't use anymore so i'm just going to be lazy right here and paste something in so let me try and explain to you this means that I'm going to override the default setup that we're using with Angular Material. So we're going deep into the code of Angular Material and changing the snack bar containers snack color success. And this is the one we just set down here in the component TS file on the panel class. So that's going to be available now on this snack bar. I know this is kind of complex, but if you guys want to change the colors, you're just going to have to do stuff like this, right? Then I'm going to say, when you get to this, I'm only going to change the background, but you could add any changes in here you wanted to. I would also kind of encourage you to start using the colors that we're getting from the material design setup. But right now I'm just setting the background to green if this is actually a success. Let's try and say something again. So let's just remove all these guys right here and save it. And now it's a beautiful green color. But what if it was an error? Well, let's try and just add one more of these guys and say if we have one that's not a success. What was the name again? We have to use the failure name right here. It could also have been error. That was probably a better name, but let's use failure. Then I'm going to make it dark red. Now we're hopefully never going to see this because our code will always run, but now we'll have two different types of snack bars, depending if it was a success or it was an error. And you also know how to change the colors of snack bars if you want to make them more into the default styling that you have inside your setup. That's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.